What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Look at this. It's a cat boy and it's our pumpkin Glenn. I, I never thought I'd say this, but cat boy, really? We're doing a Final Fantasy 14 thing right now. Uh, so we got Zach and we got Glenn as predicted as data mined. We all thought this banner was a little delayed, but they actually saved it right for Christmas time. So it is going to be going on until November 9th, the same time as I believe the Sephiroth and Cloud banner. So they will coexist together until the end. So brand new weapons, Black Whisper, Whiskers and <laughs> Black Whiskers for God's sakes. Uh, Catboys, yeah. Uh, and Pumpkin Lamppost. This weapon looks like a, a key from Kingdom Hearts. Yep, yep. And this just looks badass. So let's go in there, guys, and take a look. We also have the Critical th Threat out now. So we're going to have two couple videos out. Um, first off, we'll do the Banner one, and then we'll do the Critical Threat in terms of the Giant and see what he's all about and how to get ready to hunt for him for the next 10 days or 11 days or whatever the case may be. Um, and then also, new floors have been added to the Setra Midgar Falls coming soon. So this will be added from 51 to 70. So that's actually, I, I thought 25 floors, but I'm glad they're doing this. So from November 1st, floors 51 to B70 are going to be added to the Setra. And then brand new crystals and character specific memories are going to be added as well. So very excited to be doing more content on that. And then also, uh, real quick, upgrade to certain character models. Uh, as a result, some characters may, may differ now from before. So they've improved some character models, which is kind of nice. Uh, I love these notices, man. There's always something here. We talked about this. We talked about this. All right. So, Glenn and Zach's weapon draw. Let's go into here, guys, and take a look to see what to expect. So, uh, Swirl Drop is going to be the move for uh, Zach inflicts up to 540% non-elemental damage to a single enemy and decreases water resistance and physical resistance at the same time. I have a feeling we're going to have a water boss coming up very soon, unless the Iron Giant already is weak to water, and then also drastically increases physical attack on a single ally in Grats region. So you know right away, Cloud... Oh, man. Okay, so it's going to be Cloud, Zach, and Glenn as a three-man team with the Maritime Sword... Uh, with the increase, the re decrease the water resistance and physical defense uh, to make him hit really hard with the physical attack up. So, because the Maritime Sword for Cloud is in fact a physical attack water weapon. So you guys can see how all of this will probably jive really well. Brand new costumes, uh, boost HP, boost physical attack, boost HP, boost physical attack. Um, these will be obviously added to the future. Regarding wish list, obviously new weapons have been added there as well too. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so... Um, Let's take a look. Let's take a look and see at the at the draw. Okay. I'm curious to know now. So first off, um, who do we have? We had Cloud. I don't see the Bandage Sword anywhere because it's still going on, obviously. So, and I, you probably won't see Sephiroth Sword because the banner is still going on. So you're gonna have to wait till the banner is done to see Dark Heavens and the uh, the Bandage Sword. So nothing there has really changed. My only concern, guys. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be real with you guys, is, let's just see here, okay, let me go to, let me go to the wish list, let's go to Zach, this is the featured weapon, let's take a look at the actual sword, so, 340% physical null elemental damage, also physical defense is decreased, does mid, crit rate is 10%, so it does have crit at least on there, uh, it does do 20 second duration, uh, max is mid, which is unfortunate for the five star. Water resistance decreased low, and right now we don't have a water resistance down. Right, we got physical attack here and water potency increase. So great against uh, Ramu. We'll destroy Ramu. Really, this is this is going to be killer for him. Um, my only concern here, guys, really is is the okay. There's the mid at least. So now it goes to mid, and this also physical defense is only mid. Hmm. Does it go to high ever? Mid and oh, okay. So water resistance does go to high, but you got to really push. So this is interesting because if you if you haven't finished Ramu, this sword is going to be a, a key to killing it, right? But I mean, on my free to play, I finished it, so you guys can definitely get it done without it. Uh, so there is that physical attack, water boost. That's really good, and then sigil break. So really built to be a water weapon. Now I'm wondering if the Iron Giant is going to be weak to water. So we're going to take a look at that very soon. Let me go to Glenn here. This weapon here is what actually piques my interest the most. Okay, so physical attack is increased mid 
potency to high okay so let's see where does that st there you go you only need one copy and look at this physical attack and boost ability potency man that is massive attack boost this is a really really good weapon this is so good guys and it lets you choose a single ally to boost right so you guys can see if you get it to even like the one pink you're getting yourself pretty big stats here yeah that's not bad like our abilities are not bad like this is not that high plus 27 is actually fairly low the boost ability potency plus 36 is actually pretty decent because at 36 points he's almost maxed out already right all you need is another one or two more of them like as sub weapons and you should be okay um but this this is really appealing because right here you can push it from mid to high and if you do physical defense down and then physical attack up on your on your cloud, for example, he's gonna hit like a Mack truck. So, or even your Sephiroth if you have gone for the arrow weapon, right? The the Dark Heavens. So, um, yeah, this is enticing. This one's very enticing. Now, where my problem really stands with this whole thing is the costumes, right? Because I don't really care for these costumes. Let's go. Let's go look at them real quick. I mean, ten and ten. That's not bad, but it's nothing. Cr I honestly hate the costumes. I really do hate the costume. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Okay, let's go back to the pumpkin, pumpkin mare. Yeah, see, this is almost a pass for the the outfits. As much as I love the look for Glenn's, I feel like it's a pass. Now, where I might actually want something is Glenn's weapon. Just to even get one copy of it to see if that helps. Okay, so before I pull, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at something. Okay, we need to check out the event, and we need to see. If the Iron Giant is in fact resistant to specific water elements in a certain phase of any point, okay? So Iron Giant, here we go, critical threat. We know how this works already because we did it last time. So what does this do? Oh, wow. Okay, so this actually will already lower it to mid. There's a physical defense decrease weapon for you guys. Non -mag uh, magic non-elemental damage single enemy with a crit ability boost attack and boot crisp crit, crit potency there it is there it is folks water element yep yep boss info it's all it took man all it took is just to check out that one thing and to see exactly what it requires so that's where they're aiming in order to do better on this event you're gonna need to get the water element so a couple things to note here for me personally as a player um, if you go to my if you go to my party it's a sad thing to say but my Glenn and my my um, my Zach are nowhere near leveled up for this right so like if you look actually let's go to growth probably easier to see this way if you look here on my character streams right if I go to characters <laughs> My Glenn is 31, my Zach, well, sorry, my, my Glenn is 27, my Zach is 31, my Cloud is fully prepared. Now, here's the thing, though. I don't have the Maritime Sword, right? I don't even know what, I mean, like, I have the Serp, I guess I gotta get Lucy up because she's got the Serpent's, uh, Serpent Gun, but, yeah, I don't know, guys. I think I might pull here just to get Glenn's weapon, because I do like that he can go to high with one copy, which is really cool. I don't care about the costumes much. They don't do enough, so I think this is going to be a save banner after I pull for that weapon. Um, only reason why I'm pulling for it, again, is to boost my Cloud's um, physical attack, right? Or, my, or, again, if you have Sephiroth leveled up, you get his up. So, let's go ahead and do a draw. And then, the water resist is really appealing, so I might go for it as well. But I think I'm going to go this first. And then, on the wish list, we're going to adjust something accordingly. If I need to go this far, I guess I'll go here. Okay, let's do this. Okay, let's go back. We're gonna have to adjust that, that's fine. And this one here can be adjusted to this. I'm never gonna go this far, right? This is this is my free-to-play account, I'm not gonna push. My only, my only problem here, and this is where I'm struggling a little bit, guys, you have to understand, is I don't really know if it's worth it for this event. Although that animation looks pretty badass. See Glenn's here? It's a fast animation, so yeah. Yeah, this is a toughie, guys. This is a tough one. I might, you know what I might do? I might hold off right now. I'm going to try to do the giant, the Iron Giant fight now without having it. And then see if it's really required, okay? So my advice to you as a free-to-play player, 
there like Glenn's weapon is absolutely worth it. Zach's is going to be worth it as well if you're going to be fighting Ramu and you need it for this event. They're both worth it weapons. The costumes not so much. They're not they're not really that good. I think personally, if you can almost beat Ramu, you can probably skip Zach's. Um, if you do well on the Iron Giant and you can't, and it's just between you and Crash to finish it up, I think they're both worth skipping. Uh, yes, it's you can get them in the future, right, from the wish list. Or again, the costumes are really what you're going for in these in these events. So if the costumes aren't that good, then I don't even see a point in pulling, unless I really really need it to advance. So here's what I'm going to do: my plan of attack. Don't summon on my free to play account. I'll summon on my main account just a little bit, and see if on my free to play account if I'm actually required to do better on the event that's currently out. If I don't need to, then I'm, I'm not going to summon at all. I'm going to skip these and put them on the wish list eventually in the future. If I do need them, I may go for Glens and then try to get a Maritime Sword in between here for Cloud and level that up, right? So that's my plan of attack. Let me know what you guys plan to do with yours. I think the weapons are great. I think the costumes suck, and that's a big problem. Not aesthetically. I just think they suck from a stats perspective. So that's my take on it, guys. I'll do a video on the Iron Giant very soon, but let me know if you plan to summon. I will do a summon video probably on my main account. Uh, which is the pay-to-win account just to get the, the weapons, and we'll see how useful they actually are going to be with Cloud in one of those events. All right, guys, Payne, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.